Okay, everybody, here we are doing a like look around. It's not really a shop with me. I'm not looking to spend anything. I have no coupons. There's no sale going on today, the day that I'm filming this. Um, but pretty much, I just want to see what was new on the site since I didn't haven't really taken a look in a while. You guys, I love when they change the top colors. I think that is, makes the prettiest bottles. When the Fortunately, although I do love this color, Fresh Coat Lilacs smells like pollen to me. If you're from the South, you know what I mean? Um, and if you're from the South, please, uh, you know, feel free to agree with that statement. I, I don't know. I've never heard anybody else say that. So just curious if anybody else thinks that. Confetti Day Daydream is so pretty. And I know it's not called Unicorn when stuff is that color, but... I know it's called iridescent, but it's it's unicorn, you know, it's unicorn. So here's the blueberry extract, and I already opened it in another tab. So blueberry extract, it says glow up your skin, skin. So, okay, that's weird because glow up your skin with blueberry extract, get a so feeling strong. Okay, I don't know why I started like that because at the end it says... <laughs> This rich and creamy hair mask leaves your hair feeling strong, healthy, and smooth while being while also helping to prevent future strand breakage. That's great. I don't know. I'm not really convinced on hair masks because I'm so over coconut, even though this silky shave oil is on my it's on my radar. Let's say that. So none of the pomegranate line looks interesting to me. Uh, a body mask seems like something that is just too much work. The scrubs are questionable because you guys know I'm on the, I like coarse scrub side of the fence. And so I prefer the tree hut scrubs because they're like coarse, coarse. And body lotion, avocado, I just really wanna know what it smells like. I kinda wish the avocado line had more items that I wanted to try, but there's like nothing. There's nothing I wanna try in the avocado line at all. Maybe there's more items in store, Let's see, so pretty as a peach, even though the packaging is beautiful this year, I really like the packaging. And it came out in a moisturizing body wash. I might skip it. I don't love the scent of peach from Bath Body Works. These shampoos and conditioners are 16 ounces, guys. Like that's really good, especially with the sale that just happened for $6.50, that's really good. I mean, you're talking to someone who currently buys their shampoo and conditioner at Dollar Tree, and at Dollar Tree, it's like a dollar, for I want to say eight ounces, eight or 10 ounces, but at an average store, you know, it's about four or $5 for 16 ounces. So to get that extra scent factor, which I'm hoping it will be, you know, pretty strong is really worth the 650, not a bar soap person at all. Okay, this is the rest of the new stuff. And you know, there's been this back and forth about <laughs> whether Sea Island Shore is, um, what's the other one, the cotton one? Because they use the exact same imagery and the same color and then just change the name on it, it seems like. But I really do like the new packaging. Um, I think the only thing that's actually new is the Fine Fragrance Mist. They have Coast out. My husband doesn't like anything but the moisturizing body washes and they stopped making those for men, so... That's out. And then some minis. Hand soaps. Never mind. Let's not go to hand soap. Let's go to hand sanitizers. Waikiki Beach Coconuts. They have these as new, but I don't like I don't remember the last time I was on the site. Oh, this is new though. Passion fruit and banana flower. I want this. And I don't, I wouldn't even mind getting five because since um hand sanitizer has gotten more readily available you know, across the board at all stores. I am very particular about which pocket bags I get because originally when the beginning of the pandemic started, I just took whatever they gave me and I ended up with a lot of scents that I didn't love. Um, it is still hand sanitizer and definitely got me through a hard time. <laughs> but I want to, you know, focus on things that I actually like. So passion fruit, banana flower is definitely on that list. Possibly citrus and aloe. I have way too much mango Mai Tai. That's exactly the scent that I'm referring to. Orange Sunrise sounds interesting. If it's the same as the candle. You guys don't buy this. Please don't buy this. Mine broke so fast. And I actually have another one. But I'm going to gift it to like the next bride. And maybe like a gift situation. Maybe with a candle or something. That says like bride or something. It, it'll be more of a like theme factor than anything but this thing does not hold up very well so I wouldn't get that I wouldn't give that look sorry let me rephrase this I wouldn't purchase it thinking that it's going to last a long time and I also wouldn't give it thinking it's going to last a long time but in reality you're only a fiance for so long anyway so I'm pretty sure that's fine I do want to pick up one of these I still don't have one of these but I have a um hello sunshine I want to say from last year so I still have to get through that before I buy anything new 
And you guys know I have a dog and I thought these were so cute, like super cute. So I might get me one of those. <laughs> Let's see. I wish one of them looked like my dog though. But I thought the like carabiner being a dog, like a bone, it holds your bag. I wonder if it, it probably doesn't come with bags, right? That's asking a lot. But it is $14.95. It comes in lab and German Shepherd. That honestly doesn't look like a lab. <laughs> it looks like a mix. Oh, look at this doggy. I don't remember seeing this dog. Why is he like choking on hand sanitizer? Okay, never mind. Forget the all. I'm taking it back. I do want this one, but my last one literally just broke. And they're a little expensive to have to replace within a year. Um, I kind of expected, oh, this is the one I have. And it literally just broke on me. I love this thing, guys. I think everyone needs one of these. I think I'm going to go to, um, oh, that's so pretty. It doesn't match anything I own, but it's so pretty. Um, it's a well above that 1650 line, though. And then look at this guy. He's really, like, modern, I don't know, vacation. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. You know what he looks like? He actually looks like one of those, all like, recently remodeled all-inclusive resorts would have him in there i now that the wall plugins have the adjustable scent thing i don't really have any need for the room sprays unless i was using them in the car but i also have car plug-ins i mean the the plugins for the car you guys i don't know any of these words obviously i do shop here i promise <laughs> Now you guys know I have been waiting for a wallflower, wallflower plug, wallflower refill sale, and they won't give it to me. <laughs> so I really, really want sunshine mimosa. Uh, I don't like peach scents. Fresh cut flowers seem suspicious, so I want to look at that. I want to make sure it doesn't smell like fresh cut lilacs. The name is just really close. So honeysuckle and freesia is a no, blackberry and lavender. Lemon mint leaf is a maybe because I actually like the candle, but... Would I like it in a wallfire plug? Probably because citrus scents in the bathroom work for me. Rose petals and linen sounds amazing. Uh, fresh spring morning. Isn't that a candle? I don't remember. Fresh spring morning? Something like that. Pineapple Prosecco sounds amazing. Morning laundry? Yes. Blackberries and basil? Yes. Okay, I actually don't have to click on that one. <laughs> pink lemonade? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. From Bath and Body Works, pink lemonade could go very wrong. Cotton and freesia, wild lavender mint. Someone who likes lavender would probably love that. Cozy linen, curious. I always like to see what their linen scents are because I haven't had one that like really fed my lemon, lemon, linen desire except laundry day. None of these, what is warm ocean breeze again? That's one that I always see and never pick up regardless of what it is in. Hibiscus paradise, I do want one of. Ooh, and you guys know, I would go ham on these. I say that, but then I'm always trying to try new stuff. And so I end up getting one extra. Island Papaya, I currently have going and I don't love it enough to repurchase. So that's out. Laundry Day, I would repurchase multiple. Strawberry or Pound Cake, you guys know I'm not a fan. Um, let's see, Eucalyptus Rain. What is that again? Some of these, I promise to goodness, I read them every time and don't remember. Oh, darn. I didn't mean to do that. Where was I? Okay, eucalyptus rain. Yeah, you guys see how fresh cut lilacs is very similar in wording. I don't like when they do that. I get easily confused, you guys. So stress relief, definitely a pickup. Endless weekend, definitely would pick up. Gingham, uh -uh, I don't know. Gingham has that melon note, not a fan. Raspberry tangerine, I probably would pick it up to try it. Cinnamon stick is such a weird scent to have around right now, <laughs> but I'm sure somebody's looking for it. Pineapple mango, yes, please. That is a definite Bath and Body Works summer scent for me. They have three pages of this. That's pretty impressive. It makes me think they're, you know, I say that makes me think, but I'm really saying that makes, I, I wish that they would have one because it seems like they're super stocked up, but you know how they do. They'll take stuff down when a sale comes by. None of this first row. Bergamot Waters is, I think, the scent I have going in my bedroom as far as candles. So, yes, Sundry and Linen, I would like to try it. Fresh cotton, yes, please. That sounds amazing. Hibiscus waterfalls, yes. And you guys know this is my top fave. So juicy for summer um, at Bath and Body Works, I should say. And Midnight Blue Citrus, I love it. Eucalyptus Man, I never understood how that was different from stress relief. Orange Zest and Sea Spray, definitely for the bathroom and maybe kitchens. Like I keep one by my... I keep a plug-in, not necessarily a Bath and Body Works plug-in, but I keep a plug-in by the trash can. 
so maybe there see some lime lime yes please hello beautiful i would love one palo santo yes blue ocean waves i can't remember the notes on that so i'm gonna have to read the notes on that bubbly rose definitely would get a couple of those none of these appeal to me and i don't get the hype behind this like i i get that it is very detailed and therefore the artistry behind it is beautiful but the actual style of it i can't see matching too many people's houses and it's not even very farmhouse it's just cottage like i don't know i really don't get that one this one i think is beautiful and it has no place in my home <laughs> this one is also nice but again i don't really like signs signs are not my thing and this cat is cute nothing oh look at that that is so adorable especially if you knew somebody who what is that called did need a point oh my gosh that would be such a great gift and this is the kind of stuff i would like the old me before i became slightly minimalist the old me would have picked that up thinking I was going to meet somebody who was one day going to be a needlepoint person or someone who did needlepoint. And then I would convince myself that this person that I don't know yet would love this thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this is why I had to dissolve my gifting section because it was just hopeful. It was very hopeful. Let's say that. So there's only two of these left on the website. The purple, no, sorry, the green and the pink are gone. And these have been sold out. I'm very nervous because I told you guys I did want to get a couple of gray, but I never got around to it. The white is not white. I don't know why they should have put that on discount because it should have been uh, marketed differently. So the notes on fresh cut flowers are bamboo leaves, cotton blossom, and watery musk. Did anybody else see that coming? Because I didn't. Fresh cut flowers is bamboo leaves, cotton blossoms, and watery musk. I don't know how to feel about that. Lemon mint leaf. I don't know why I opened the tab for that. I know what that smells like. <laughs> rose petals and linen. Rain kissed rose, soft cedar wood, clean musk. I don't know. Spring morning dew, aloe blossoms, and creamy orange. That actually sounds really good, especially for a bathroom. Especially sparkling pineapple bubbly prosecco and white nectarine with essential oils definitely you guys you, some people complain that the um bubbly note is the same bubbly note in every drink scent and i'm like yeah it is i, I, I don't know maybe because i like it i'm just like yeah it is like it, it just makes sense morning laundry is crisp apple fresh melon that's weird so the beginning of morning laundry is similar to pink apple pink apple punch yeah so i'm gonna that would be a no for me actually surprisingly cozy this is why i have to read the notes to their laundry scents lily of the valley petals already a no <laughs> warm ocean breeze oh yes eucalyptus zest but coconut though i don't know i don't know about that i'm on a very anti-coconut kick lately eucalyptus rain Sounds great if the mint isn't too sweet. That's a very particular thing on my part. Bergamot waters. Definitely, this is what I have going in the bedroom. And I would definitely love to have that in the bathroom. Or even just in my office. Fresh cotton. Lily of the Valley. You guys, what in the world? I don't love Lily of the Valley. Somebody will like it. As far as three wick candles. Love, love, love this new packaging. I think it's very Mother's Day ready. This like white collection yes everything about it but i can't see it happening i think this is the cutest collection guys even though i didn't love anything out of it <laughs> except my old regular my old faithfuls let's call it that but outside of that there's nothing too much new i know people are gonna go for this anyways i was interrupted you guys know laundry day is the big grab for this line i would like a laundry day and a pineapple mango and an endless weekend but that's just me so let's click there. So here we have in, where are we? We're in housewarming. Um, these are just like, it's just kind of a collection of things. I kind of don't like when they do that. Make a new category for a collection of things that, I mean, it's all house stuff, right? Everything goes in the house that they sell. Ooh, except the car items. They got me there. So these gift sets are clearly for Mother's Day. It says just for you, here's to you. I got it for my, I got it for my, Oh, it says I got it for my mama. I thought I was misreading that because usually the saying is I got it from my mama. But this one is grateful for you. Mother like no other. I love that saying. That's cute. Mother's Day, Sip Sip Hooray. 
and then they have some smaller items for like if you're gifting to a sister-in-law or just not your mom you know <laughs> another mother or a dog mom just gonna throw myself in there because i like gifts <laughs> Not for any other reason than I like gifts. That's about it. Oh, and here's a, uh, ooh, this one's so cute. Major Bride Vibes. And it's, oh man, I wish that was out a couple months ago. This is accessories. I always like to check this section to make sure I, there's something that, make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> I know there's like polar feelings toward this, but I think it is so cute. Um, I think it's very modern, boho, and I don't think it's gonna be a forever look, but if you got the $16.95 for now, or if you caught it on the 40% off, uh, keep yes, keep your house, you know, decorated the way you want it to be decorated. Now this guy, I don't love him because he's seasonal. I couldn't leave him up year round, you know? So this is the end of the video. And if you watch the end, you know the giveaway is until Friday. So the rules are, you have to write in this post, hashtag magic M, and then just tell me what new item you're looking forward to getting now or later. So two parts, what new item are you looking to get from Bath and Body Works, and then hashtag magic M. So, and that's just the letter M. The next thing, is to oh I guess the next thing is just something I have to say which is <laughs> this giveaway is not backed by YouTube it's purely by my own doing um and it's not backed by Bath and Body Works but I can now tell you that the prize is $50 gift card to Bath and Body Works and I'm so excited to give that away because I love to shop and I want you guys to be able to shop too and of course you know in the future when being paid by YouTube, I would love to give away more, but at the current time, this is what we're doing. So those are the rules pretty much. I would love if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I didn't make it mandatory for this giveaway. Now, the giveaway runs till Friday and I'll pull, I'll do the random comment picker on Friday live. Or maybe not live, I'll just post it, but that's the point. Um, cause I still work. I don't know why I said that. Like I just got all day off Friday. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the rules and I'm really excited guys. I'm actually really nervous. This is the first time I did this and I, I, the reason it showed up so late compared to the day that I originally announced that it was going to happen is because I really wanted to make sure that I looked at the rules from other <laughs> giveaways and pretty much just did some research on it to make sure that I was doing this correctly. Now, when you win, and I'm talking to you, winner. <laughs> when you win, I will be contacting you in the comments. I will give you literally a week. Please don't let it take a week. Please. But I'm going to give you a week. And once that week is up, we're pulling a new winner. But when I get your information, I'm going to need your email address. I'm probably going to find a way to verify you, especially if you have an Instagram. I'm definitely going to ask that we exchange Instagrams just as a point of verification. And I'll, I'll get to that later if you have an Instagram. If you don't, we'll work it out a different way. All right, guys, have a good day.